are kicking things off in beautiful Vancouver. Our first guest is the CEO of Northern Vertex, Ken Barry. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome back to the show. Thank you very much for having me on, Daniel. And I know you come with a lot of updates here. Your Moss Mine based in Arizona. What's happening? What's the latest? Well, uh, after a year worth of construction uh, where we're very active on site, we had up to a couple hundred uh, uh, men working, men and women working. Uh, we're now in the commissioning phase and we're working towards that commercial production. So it's exciting times. We poured about six uh, batches of gold to date and uh, looking forward to a strong future. And how many ounces do you think you're sitting on right now, Ken? Well, our resource is just under a half a million ounces, and we're conducting exploration currently to expand that. Uh, so we're looking at uh, mine life of close to 10 years currently. Okay, close to 10 years. Now, you are based in Arizona, uh, friendly jurisdiction, as we know. Uh, you know wh why did you choose Arizona as, as, as a property here? Well, it's an excellent location. We're about an hour and a half south of Las Vegas and just 20 minutes outside of the town of Bullhead City or Laughlin, Nevada. So uh, it's easy access for our employees. They can live at home with their families, travel to site every day. Uh, but the main reason was uh, the Moss Mine had a historic resource and we were able to go in there, drill about 470 drill holes, prove up a resource and raise close to $100 million to take this into production. Ken, we're speaking today. Uh, it's not a great day for gold price. Uh, so let's talk about your all-in sustaining costs. Where are you at right now? What's the projection? Well, our feasibility called for an all-in sustaining cost of just over $600, so $603. Uh, and as you pointed out, uh, it's a challenging day for gold prices, but really with an all-in sustaining cost, cost of, of just over $600, um, you know, we'll do well at $1,250 gold or, or even close to so that. Today, gold fell below key support of 1300 when you see that as a CEO uh, do you panic no not at all because <laughs> uh, um, we're a low-cost producer so yeah. when other mines are shutting down should gold pull back uh, yeah. further um, we still will have a healthy profit and uh, look we're in this for the long game uh, so that that, that um, you know that that uh, price pullback, I just see that as another opportunity, a buying opportunity for investors. Moss Mine will be producing gold and silver. What do you see on the silver front? Well, our mix is about a nine to one ratio in uh, silver to gold. Uh, the profit uh, or the the uh, the value is in the gold primarily. Um, however, we're, we're there to uh, have that leverage on silver prices should silver go up as well. So I think it's it's a nice mix. A lot of people think, well, you're a CEO of, of a mining company, um, so you must be bullish, right? But how do you, how do you, what do you think of the current space right now, the metal space? Is well, it in healthy? I mean, I know it's a tough day to be talking about it, but overall, it's been since 2011 uh, that we've been developing this project, been building this project from 2011 to 15. We were able to raise close to 50 million dollars for this project in in a, a challenging time when most mining companies were shutting down or were dormant. So this is just more of the same. We feel that we've positioned ourselves now as we're moving into production to benefit uh, should the market and, and the value uh, come back into the market. Ken, finally, when can we expect new news from you guys? Well, we've got constant activity. So we'll be coming with updates on the commissioning. We're looking forward to commercial production, announcing commercial production, and we've also got exploration underway. So uh, exploration underway, can you tell us more about that? Well, uh, the exploration is, is sort of ongoing, and this is something, of course, that uh, we'll look to uh, add scale to the project and, and longevity. All right, well, Ken Barry, best of luck, continued success. Thank you very much. Thank you Dan. for joining us, and thank you for watching. We'll have so much more for you coming, so be sure to stay tuned to Kitco.com.